Okay, my grasshoppers, on this next videotape analysis, I'm going to be talking about the toss and show you the common threads of how eight different pros all toss the ball pretty much the same, although they all look a little different in their motion and their stance and footwork, but they all have one common thread, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today is how they toss the ball. Now, one thing that I want you to notice, and this is a great angle that I have here for Roger and Andy Murray right there, is when they toss the ball, their arm, and I'm going to show you how the arm gets there in a second right now, but what I want you to notice right now is where the arm is when they toss the ball. And the arm is parallel to the baseline. The arm is not sticking out in front. That arm is literally parallel to the baseline right there. Okay, if you see, there's a better angle right there with Andy. For us to draw a line right there from his shoulder to where he's holding the ball, it is pretty much in the same line that of the uh, baseline, so parallel to the baseline. Now, they're going to achieve that with a slight shoulder turn, and the reason why you want to turn, the main reason why you want to turn when you, you toss is to coil, so you, then you can uncoil to add power to your serve, but also, by turning, it is a lot easier motion to get the ball up. So I'm going to go through a series of pros right here, and I'm going to show you how Leighton Hewitt does the same thing. Let's notice, after the weight shift, uh, which I'll be talking about later right now, we're just working on the toss, is watch where the left hand, the tossing hand is right there. Pretty much it is right parallel to that baseline right there. It is not sticking out in front into the court. Let's go to um, Tommy Haas. It's a great angle right there to see where the tossing hand is right there. Watch where is that hand is coming up. Okay, there's the baseline right here, and there's this tossing hand right here. And these two lines are pretty much parallel right there. So how do you get the, the ball toss to go to your side? Is Obviously, you start to turn right here. And obviously, when you're going to release the ball, you're going to release it between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock, depending what kind of serve you want to hit. But pretty much you, the common thread here is how they turn their body, and the, the tossing hand is now parallel to the baseline. I'm going to add uh, two more uh, characters right here, Saffron right here and Atsonga. And this is a good angle with the Marat right there, or how that ball toss is, watch where that hand is. Not sticking out in front right there pretty much. Once again, parallel to the baseline, just about parallel to the baseline right there. And so is uh, Tsonga right here. The arm is not in front. And then I'm going to finish up with the last two guys, uh, two big servers, which is Andy Roddick and uh, Gail Monfils. And both have a very similar motion. But once again, watch how they're going to coil. And watch where that left hand tossing hand is right there, right parallel to the baseline. And so is Andy's Roddick's motion right there. So if you, if you have really trouble uh, controlling your toss, try to turn your upper body as you go to the trophy position and try to get that, that tossing hand pretty much parallel to the baseline and that will hopefully help you control your toss. I'll just show you right here how about just about everybody does that. There's a few guys that may t uh, toss the ball straight in front, but you want to really try to focus uh, on controlling your toss by tossing the ball parallel to the baseline and from that point forward you'll find yourself in a very good position to hit the serve. So this is it for this uh, this first tip right here. I was just uh, discussing the toss. I will go back talk about the weight transfer, trophy position, power position, pronation in later videos. But this was just how to control your toss and how to turn your upper body, toss the ball along the baseline. So I'm going to let these guys finish up right here in slow motion and hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, you can uh, uh, once again remember that you can view a lot of these videos on my teaching website www.tennisoxygen.com and now watch how these two great servers right there will turn the upper body the left hand comes way back almost between their legs toss the ball parallel to the baseline as the shift begins to work uh, weight begins to shift forward and the perfect toss. Hope you enjoyed the video.